Jesse, it's cookie time. It's cookie time! <laughs> Good lord, you're hard, hard to follow. <laughs> Wee! Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. I'm Jesse. I am drunk. I drank a bottle of Manischewitz. I didn't sit in the corner of my kitchen drinking it from a straw. <laughs> <laughs> When did you buy that, Jesse? I bought this bottle of Manischewitz today. When today? Mm, hours ago. Like two. Mm, and I drank it. Yes. And now... Whoa! Drunk Bible Story! Welcome back to Drunk Bible Stories! It's coming back! Drunk Bible Stories is back. If you go way deep in my channel, you will find... Go deep. The Drunk Bible Story that I told before. And now please cut because I have to pee. I'm done peeing now. <laughs> I'm gonna make cookies. All right, so Purim. Purim is a holiday in Judaism. It's a Jew day. I'm Jewish. It's a holiday. Um, so as you may or may not know, when I talk about the Bible, I'm always talking about Judaism uh, because <laughs> I'm Jewish. Nice. Uh, so Purim is actually not in the like five stories, the book of Moses, which is the Old Testament, the five books of Moses. It's the not there. The Torah is not in the Torah. It's uh, the Megillah. So the Megillah, the word Megillah literally means scroll. But when Jews are like, oh, the Megillah, what we're talking about is the scroll of the book of Esther. The scroll of Esther, the Megillot Esther, whatever it is. And it's a story about a bad man and good people. And we're going to make hamantashen. So, right, I have to tell you what hamantashen is. It's a cookie. It's a triangle cookie that has stuff in it. So we're making a triangle cookie with stuff in it. And I have to preheat the oven... I made the dough already because that was boring and I didn't want you to have to watch that. The oven is now preheating to 350 and this oven is prehistoric. So it's going to go click, 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 and then it's going to make dinosaurs and then we're going to cook cookies because that's what prehistoric means. So pour them. I'm going to get dough. Hold on, I'm going to get dough. Pour them. It's a holiday. It's one of our minor holidays because it's not in the Torah. It's like Hanukkah. Hanukkah's not that important. We only do Hanukkah because it's like Christmas and Jewish babies want presents too. Purim is like Jews want Han a Halloween in spring. So I'll tell you about that. Um, this dough. It's this dough because cookies need dough. So it's dough dough. Alright, it's dough. Dough is dough dough. dough. Alright. Uh, Alright, I... I need a cookie sheet because I'm going to need to put stuff on. So Esther, is the scroll of Esther. It's about Esther. She's a Jew. Uh, and she's cousins with Mordecai. Now, a lot of people think that Mordecai was her uncle. Why do they think that? Because there's a song, and it goes like this. He's Uncle Mordecai. He is. He's Uncle Mordecai. He is. He is a wonderful guy. He's Uncle Mordecai. He is. He's such a wonderful guy. He's Uncle Mordecai. So when you have songs like that, you think that he's her uncle, but apparently they were just cousins. And they might have been married because that was totally a thing in, ugh, in Shoo Shoo Shushan long ago, which is part of another song. Shushan, capital of Persia at this time. There are Jews that live there, and they're like, fine. Like, no one's trying to kill them right now. They will be soon, don't worry. And it's ruled by King Ahasuerus, that's a name. And King Ahasuerus is married to Vashti. And one day they do a festival and they get drunk. And... King Ahasuerus is like, yo, Vashti, take off your clothes. And she's like, nah, bitch. And I'm going to use this wine. This is mead. It's a honey wine to review as a rolling pin because I don't own a rolling pin. Um, ugh. Anyway, and some rabbis think that she had a skin condition. And she was like, I would be down to get naked, but I have a skin thing, so nah. But either way, she said, Navra, and Ahasuerus was like, you're not the queen anymore. Now I need a new queen. And Uncle Mordecai was like, opportunity. My little cuz here is pretty smoking hot. That's weird to say because she's my cousin, but like she totally is. So I feel like I'm worried about someone eventually trying to kill the Jews because that's what people do. So maybe I should make a Jew Ahasuerus' wife. And then he won't try to kill them. You might want to get the part that's closer to you because it's not as it's not it's a different thickness because Shh, I got it because of the wine bottle thing. I got go. it. Just trying to help. I'm making cookies. You might want to put some flour on that too because no, it's sticking. Yeah, I broke it. I broke the cookies, guys. I broke. 
Jesse doesn't drunk. bake very often, and she's also drunk. Shh. It's not sticking to the cutting board, so that's good. Yeah, but then flour is your rolling pin. I don't need a rolling pin when I have hands. That's the way to get cookies of even thickness. You're correct. <laughs> Pour him. Kelly doesn't believe in me. That's not true. She doesn't believe in pour him. That's, flour. that's also not true. Where's flour? I think I might know more about the Book of Esther than you do. I don't think that's true. What's the uncle's name? Yeah, that's what I thought. What's the bad guy's name? The king? No, the king is not the bad guy. We haven't even gotten to the bad guy yet. All right, well, educate me. I just the I've read I've read the Book of Esther more than once. Na I so have I. I've heard it told because in Jewish tradition, the holiday of Purim means that in the evening ceremony when the sun goes down, that's what evening means, and the daytime <laughs> ceremony, which is the next day, that you have to listen. The thing is, as a Jewish person, you're mandated to listen to stuff at night and in the day about the story of Judaism. Okay. I stand corrected. Of the story of the book of stuff. Esther. Esther. The Megillah. Um, and so you don't even know who the bad guy is. He's Haman. That's why I'm making Haman, Tashin, Haman, Tashin. Haman means a lot of stuff, okay? So it could be, so we're making cookies with pockets that have stuff in it. And that could be like Haman accepted bribes. So that's why it's called Haman's pockets. Literally it means Haman's pockets. But it could mean... Because sometimes they call him Haman's ears, because it was a thing where you cut off ears of criminal before you hang them, and in spoiler alert, Haman gets hanged at the end of the story. And <gasps> in case you didn't know about grammar, it's hanged, not hung. The past tense of, of when you hang somebody, like by the neck until they're dead, is hanged. Um, that's grammar. So that's um, that's what's up with Haman, sort of. Wait, there's one other uh, interpretation, which is that it's a triangle cookie that we're making, and Haman had a triangle hat. So. Um, that's the thing. We're gonna get some aluminum foil for cookie sheet. Uh, where's my aluminum foil? That's already. Um, thank you. Yeah, it's right here. Um, so, Haman had a triangle hat. And that's important, okay, because there's a song about that. Now, the thing is, the song goes, in the Hebrew, la Kova sheli shalosh pino shalosh pino la kova sheli the imu haliula shalosh pino lo hayaze la kova sheli. In English it goes, my hat it has three corners. Three corners have my hat. If it has not three corners, it would not be my hat. And the way you do the song is you just take stuff out of it. So you take like words out. So then I go go my hat it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. Three corners. My hat, and then I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out three. So, my hat it has corners. Corners has my hat. Corners. My hat. And I'm gonna take out my. So I got hat. It has corners. Corners has hats. Corners. Hat. And I'm gonna take out corners. So I got. Hat, it has hat, hat, and then I do it with no words. And that's how we do it. Yay. So I even wore the triangle hat, so we make triangle cookies. Um, but when you're reading the story of Haman, you're supposed to go boo, and you know they say his name, and you go groggers. And they spin around and they go blah, 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 blah. So you can't hear the, the idea is you boo out the name of Haman so you can't hear it. So you're like, boo! Um, boo, Haman. Boo! I'm ruining this. I think I'm... Do you need help? No! It's fine. I should put down oil and, 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 and then flour. I'm gonna fix this. I'm sorry, world. Um, Just flour would be fine. Alright, but then the cutting board is going to absorb it because it's a bamboo cutting board. So it's better to put foil. Foil! Um, let's try again with this later. Um, so we know about Haman and his three-quarter hat. Okay, so we're getting to the story. So, um, I broke the foil. I broke everything. Alcohol and doing stuff is stupid. Um, so, 
where were we? So, so more, so Achashverosh was like, you're, you're not getting naked for me. Fuck off, bitch. And she was like, all right, I guess I have to fuck off now. And Mordecai was like, Esther, marry him, because you're hot. And Achashverosh was like, damn, you are hot. Marry me. And she was like, all right, this seems fine. And so Haman, this bad guy, right, just like Jafar, Haman's Jafar, basically, from Aladdin. Right, so Haman pops in and he's like, I want to do good things by you, my friend, my king, whatever, my sultan, my, my Ahasuerus. Um, and Ahasuerus is like, that seems good. I'll make you my viceroy. That's like a right-hand man kind of thing, if you don't know what a viceroy is. At least in this context it is. Um, I don't know about real things. So Haman is like, yeah, I'm awesome. And then, shortly after Esther marries um, Ahasuerus, Mordecai, because he's Uncle Mordecai, he, we know that, he's good, he's good. We know that he's good. But one of the good things he does, he's just like, oh shit, I heard these aides to the king plot about how they're gonna kill the king. That's fucked up. So he reports it to some other people, some like police dudes, and they're like, we're gonna stop this. And they're like, thanks, Mordecai. What's your name? It's Mordecai. Thanks, Mordecai. That was really cool of you. The king's not going to die now because of you. So that's great. So just log that information because that becomes important. So there's this thing in Judaism where we don't... Ooh, this is working so much better. Thanks for the tip about using flour. You're Thanks welcome. for going to stuff about baking and being sober. Kevin. <laughs> You're welcome. What would we do without you? Um, <laughs> not have this video, for not one. Have <laughs> not have anything. We would just die. Aww, not true, but thank you. Kinda true. Um, <laughs> in case you saw my Black Panther review, Kelly, uh, who talked in that one, is my videographer right now. So love and appreciate her. And check out her her channel, which is called The Nerd by. Yeah, do that. I haven't posted a video since September, but, but she that's has other I'm videos sick. that were there before. So yes, I have many. I broke everything again. It's you, why are you picking it up before you cut it? Well, I was I was trying to move it because it was not it was it, I didn't have enough room on the on the thing. Yes, you did. Shh. So, where are we? So, Mordecai did the good thing, and that was good. But then, we still got a Haman guy. And now what happens is Haman, who's now the, like, viceroy, which is a thing, is like, I'm important! And what important people do sometimes is they ride horses around the streets, and they're like, y'all, bow to me! And what thickness are you supposed to roll that dough to? Uh, not that thick. So, like, less thick. I think this is fine. I'm gonna make a cup do the circles. Okay, yes. Cup circles! Hey, I'm hey, I'm important, bow to me. And I'm important, bow to me. So there's this thing in Judaism where we don't bow to bitches. And by bitches I mean things that aren't God. Um and Haman is not God. I don't know if you know this, he's not God. So Haman is like bow to me, and Mordechai is chilling in the crowd and he's like, nah, bro. Because that's what Jews do. He's a good Jew. Dude, this recipe said it was going to make 56 cookies. I'm going to make like 12. <laughs> I think they were talking about very small cookies. These are small cookies. No, those are, I mean like very small cookies. No, they weren't. This is the kind of size of cookie they wanted me to stab. I How mean, do you know? You're reading from an ancient book of Judaism. I read, it's, look, 1998 is not that ancient. This is my Jewish home. That depends country. on who you talk to. Uh, by the way, if you want some fun porn facts, let's get some fun porn facts, because this was great. I enjoyed this. Okay, so, we're not going to talk about porn facts yet, because we want to finish the story of porn first. We're going to talk about these. This is my ancient book of Judaism that tells me that this is the size of cookie that I want. It doesn't tell you the size, it just says how many, it just says. It says that you're a lion. Yes, it does. It says use a cookie cutter that's that wide. Or use that instead. And I used that. It was like, use the rim of a glass. That's the rim of a glass. Maybe they meant a shot glass. No, they didn't. You can't. Because I have to fold the cookie. I can't fold it if it's that fucking small. Where's my preserves? We have, have to put filling were. in the cookie. Yes, I know. Oh, oh yeah, you're telling them. <laughs> we have to put filling in the cookies. Did you get so, the, the Oregon berries? I will. We have... Michigan cherry fruit filling. Oh, if I know if you're Michigan, I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs> Fuck Michigan. Way to read. We have lemon. California lemon. I'm sensing a theme here. And. Where'd it go? I'm from here. Up. Uh, Oregon triple berry fruit filling. Woo! Whoa. Shh. So, let me get these cookies out. So, what's up? Well, I guess I can put it there. And then do it. Alright, so I have a circle cookie now. So, 
and to make this into a triangle cookie. How are we going to do that? With spoons and hands and craftiness. Uh, hands are covered in oil. All right. Spoon. Oh, this is just smush. <laughs> That's fine. Let's put some smushiness. Smushiness. It's a good enough smush. I've never made Highland Tatra before. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna level with you guys. I've never done this before. So I really don't know what's gonna happen. Boop a doop a doo. All right. Wait, am I allowed to help if I see a no. way to help? Okay, I didn't think so. Just thought no. I'd offer. I have to do this a lot. This is the kind of thing I have to do a lot of. <laughs> That's what you said when you tried to make us the spaghetti squash. Yeah. I made spaghetti squash. <laughs> yes. And you refused help and it took hours. But I made it. Yes, you did. And we were you. starving. Yes, you did. You're welcome. Thank you. I, we thank you. <laughs> All right, so see how I have a triangle cookie? That's a hamantashen. Now it's going to go. So pretty. Isn't it cute? Pinch it close. Let's go on my baking sheet. Over there in the corner where it belongs. And now we're going to make a cherry one. So where was I? So Haman is like, bow to me! <laughs> and Mordecai is like, not nah, brow. Um, these are really sanitary cookies, because I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean the spoon when I change it over. I'm going to clean it like this. Oh, uh, I can't eat them now. I can eat that first one. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Heat kills stuff. Um, <laughs> like, mouth germs. So, Haman's like, why won't you bow to me, bitch? I'm, like, asking you to bow to me. And Morgan's like, well, I'll tell you why. It's because cherry pie filling is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jewish. So I'm not gonna bow to you because I'm a Jew. So Haman was like, What? <laughs> a, A, kill this guy. B, what does everyone do? Like all the time, it's like the most cliche thing to do ever, right? So what does Haman decide to do? Kill the Jews! That's what you do. So, we're getting to the part of the story. Where someone tries to kill the Jews, it's bound to happen, guys. It's a Jewish story. Um, someone's always trying to kill my people. It's I'm fine. not. I'm ruining this cherry hamantashen. You put too much cherry in it. Shh, I wanted it that way. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. It'll survive. Gloria Gaynor. I will survive! I will survive! That's yeah, exactly how that song goes. Exactly. <laughs> no variations. Um, so, Haman's like, I'm gonna kill the Jews now. So Mordecai is like, fuck. So he goes to Esther and he's like, dude, we gotta do something because you're married to the king, so you like might have some sway. And uh, your husband's BFF wants to kill all the Jews, and that's like not that cool. So they're talking and they're like, what do we do? And he's like, you have to go before the king and say stuff. And she's like, uh, it's kind of illegal to go before the king unless the king says it's all right. And Mordecai's like, uh, you're going to die anyway, bitch, because all the Jews are getting dead. And she's like, I guess I have to do something. So then she's like, all right, I'm going to fast and you should all fast with me because solidarity, bro. So the Jews fast and she fasts and then she does these banquet things that do a bunch of stuff. And one of the stuffs they do is somehow in there, uh, someone tells King Ahasuerus, that's a lemon hamantash, it's gonna be good. Someone tells King Ahasuerus that Mordecai did the saving his life thing. Remember when he told about the plot and did the saving the life thing? So that was good. Um, and, which one will make this cherry? Cause I like cherries. Uh, mm. Oh, that one was good. Um, so he does, so C learns about the Mordecai saved his life, so that's a good thing. We're, we're, we're making progress. And then uh, Esther's like, I'm going to get you drunk, because that, I don't know if you remember from my other Bible story, getting people drunk is always how we do things. Um, more on that in a minute. Um, uh moral of this bottom line is eventually Esther's like I can talk to you because you're my husband and you love me because I'm really hot like I'm hotter than Vashti 
so I can get away with shit that you don't allow by being like, I'm going to speak to you. And he's like, I love you, so that's fine. So she does that. And and she's like, I want to tell you something. Someone's trying to kill me. And he's like, what? I don't want people to kill my wife. You're my wife. I love you. So she's like, yeah, but someone's trying to kill us. And he's like, that's not cool. And the time I get to a little convoluted, but one of the things that happens in here in this time, because he learned about the plot against his life, um, was he was like, I should honor the person who saved my life. I need to point out that if you see flour all over me, it's because I'm baking, so fuck off. I'd also like to take this opportunity to point out that if you see colors around my lips, it's because I am licking the spoon between fillings, so also fuck off. Anyway, we were talking about Haman. Uh, we're almost done with our cookies, which is cool. Um, but we were talking about Haman, and so we had this stuff going on where Esther's like, I'm going to take this audience with the king and all you Jews are going to fast with me. And... And he's like, she's like, hey, what would you do if I was like, people are trying to kill me? And he was like, I would be not cool with that. And she was like, great, because, um, like, Haman's kind of trying to kill all the Jews, and I'm kind of a Jew. And he was like, ah, you're Jewish? I don't really know what that means, but that's fine. Haman sucks. But then he kind of fucks with Haman, right? Because we had this whole thing where, like, where, where, and it also possibly wasn't fucking with him, and this all happened before. Esther was like, I'm a Jew. The whole part where he learns that uh, Mordecai figured out the plot to save his life. Bam! Circle Hamantasha. Bam! Hamantasha. Oh, we all make two out of this. That's okay. Um, we'll make more of uh, the one because my spoon's already in there. I won't make a cherry one because I like the cherry. Um, so, yeah, so at that point, this great thing happens where where Achashverosh is like, yo, him, Haman. She go, boo, because remember when we say Haman, his name go, boo. Haman. Boo. Good job. Um, if I was going to honor someone, how'd I do it? And so Haman, because he's Jafar, is like, well, obviously you want to honor me, is what he's thinking. So he's thinking, yeah, what would I want if I was getting honored? So he was like, wow, I would dress him up in the finest robes and I would ride him around the whole city on the king's horse and be like, this guy's awesome. And Hashverosh is like, got it. So he's planning now to do this for Mordecai, and Haman's like, fuck. Because at some point he realizes it's not for him, it's for Mordecai, his like, sword enemy, and he's like, god damn it. And then, in this process, Esther's also like, oh, sexy husband, they're trying to kill all the Jews, and he's like, you're too hot to murder, so I guess I have to kill the guy who's trying to kill you. And he's like, wow, Haman's trying to kill your people? That's kind of jacked. I guess I should kill Haman instead. Um, so now Haman has to watch Mordecai get all of his accolades, and then King Ahasuerus is like, fuck you, you're gonna die, and kills, like, all ten of his sons, too, because, I don't know, it, that's a little harsh. That's always, that part's always seemed, like, a bit harsh to me, but it's fine. So it's, I, there's a whole lot of irony in this story, right, because, um, Haman has built a gallows because he's been planning on, on remember he's been planning on executing Mordecai this whole time because he's like Mordecai's a dick I hate him he's better than me at life um so he built a gallows for him and like dramatic irony those gallows get used to hang Haman instead so then Haman gets dead and then there's all like this, you do like you do and so then there's all this stuff that happens where like Jews are like yay so this is kind of a cool thing because in orthodoxy, women don't get to do anything and women are actually supposed to hear the Megillah because like women do stuff in that story like
But eggshells, I don't even know how eggshell got over here, but eggshell got into my cookie dough. What? Don't do that. If women did that, that would be why. That would be like a valid reason to discriminate against women, and we don't want that. So don't put eggshells in your cookie dough. Um, <laughs> is the moral of the story. So that's the cool thing about the Megillah, that women get to Megillah. Whatever that means. Oh, I wanted to share some more things with you before we put these last cookies in the oven. Um, i trying to remember if I forgot anything. Oh, oh, okay, this is a fun fact. So, um, when I was a kid, we always had a Purim festival at my Hebrew school. And because Purim happens in March-ish, which corresponds to the Jewish calendar to Adar. Now the fun thing about Adar, so Jews don't have um, a leap year. <laughs> they have a leap month. And what do we read? It's something ridiculous. It's something like uh, the leap month occurs um, seven times every 19 years. Seven times every 19 years. What? And they cleverly call that leap month Adar 2. Which is a sequel to Adar. And there's some stuff about how if you're in a walled city like Shushan is, Purim is celebrated on the 15th of Adar instead of the 14th of Adar, and in the leap month, leap year is celebrated in Adar 2, not Adar 1. Funny stuff about Jewish calendar. Just anyway. really like the cherry. Look at that. Cherry's almost That's gone. That's not the other cherry. Two, that one's, this one is cherry. Oh, that one's cherry. Yeah, yeah, the look. other two are just like... Lemon's down there, too. I guess. And the berries... This one is just really thick, so I don't know. It's. I feel like I don't have to use as much in a thing. I like cherries. Calm down. I own maraschino cherries so that I can occasionally just put them in my face hole. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm just Stop. remarking because it's funny. You're judging at me. You're judging me. You're judging me. No judgment. Anyway, so poor spring holiday. Judaism, it was like our Halloween because you dress up and stuff. Like, that's a thing. You dress up. Uh, I don't know when that became a part of it. Like, you know, over the holiday later when they were like, we're stealing holidays from Roman monography and Roman people have a carnival where they dress up as stuff. So we'll dress up as stuff. So it's always customary to dress up as characters from the story. So that was a thing. So um, if you're going as Vashti, would you go naked? No, you just wore a mask. They had all these funny masks. And like this is the thing, every fucking Hebrew school, every Hebrew school gift shop had the same terrifying plastic masks. I tried to find them, they apparently don't exist anymore because someone was like, this is creepy, let's stop. Um, but you could be Haman if you were if you swung that way. Or you could be Esther, everyone wanted to be Esther because she's pretty. Or Mordecai because he's Uncle Mordecai, he is, he's Uncle Mordecai. He is, he is a wonderful guy, he's Uncle Mordecai. Anyway, <gasps> one of my favorite. Oh my gosh. What? Jesse, you just need to be pregnant. Cause you're barefoot cooking in the kitchen. Gross. No. <laughs> I'm not cooking, I'm baking. Oh, even better. Fuck off. <laughs> yes, Uncle Mordecai. So sad. Speaking of sadness, this was always funny to me. There's a Purim song, as you can tell. There's lots of songs for Purim. In Shoo 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 Shot Long Ago. Um, and one of the songs. Probably my favorite one, just because of the hilarity of it. Um, it just sounded so depressing. It was, um, it was a song about poor. I'm just, look, I'm just gonna sing it to you, and we'll see if you find it as hilarious as I do. It goes like this. Poor rooms here, poor rooms here. Gladdest day in all the year. Everyone's dancing round, singing loud and clear. Round go the groggers, rush, rush, rush. Round go the groggers, rush, rush, rush. Round go the groggers, rush, rush, rush. Pour him time is here. I'm sorry. Anyone not find the irony in this like minor key song that's like glad is day in all the year. That made me laugh when I was a child. Then again, lots of things made me laugh when I was a child and they weren't necessarily all funny. Um, but uh, the last thing I want to do, wow, look at this. This is really exciting because 
We're filling the last of the Hamantaschen. All right. We'll get some lemon in this bitch. Uh, since Kelly thinks I'm discriminating, we'll get some more orange berry <laughs> in this bitch. Oh. That's right. And then you'll make me a sandwich. I will kill you before I make you a sandwich. <laughs> I don't particularly want to do either of those things. Don't force my hand. This dough smells like dough. That might be a good thing. Alright. Look at my square cookie. This is a square. By square? By square, I mean triangle. <laughs> look, look at that my square cookie. Sh look at my Heyman hat cookie. <laughs> my Beautiful hat square cookie. cookies now featuring three corners instead of four. <laughs> Math, late night, science drunk. Where did Point science is? come into that? Shush! <laughs> Science! <laughs> Science! Science, bitch. Anyway. Look what's gonna happen now. I made triangle cookies. See? You see my triangle cookies? I own an oven. <laughs> <laughs> Stay down! <laughs> I'm gonna put these cookies up here. Without breaking things. I'm gonna put these cookies down here. I'm gonna set a timer and we'll check on them in 15 minutes. In the meantime, that's not what I meant to do. Kitchen timer. Stop! Boom. Me. Me. Go, go, gadget. Timer. So, drunk people with technology. This is what I need. Yes. I'll read you some literature. Masquerading. Influenced by the room of carnival, blah, blah, blah. Although the Bible prohibits men from wearing women's garments, the rabbis made an exception for Purim to increase the hilarity of the day. That's a thing. The rabbis were like, nah, this is funny. Let's do it. So that great Malcolm Reynolds quote from uh, Shindig. Uh, you didn't have to wound that man. Yeah, I know. It was just funny. Also, similarly, they say never to hit a man with a closed fist, but it is on occasion hilarious. So the reason we're making one of the reasons we're making homentashin is part of uh, harm is giving food away to your friends and the homeless. And so homentashin, that's the thing. You make these little gift baskets. You give them away to people you know. You give them away to poor people. Maybe I'll go give those to homeless people. There are homeless people where I live. Anyway, but more importantly, the Sauda on the afternoon of Purim. It is customary for families to assemble and enjoy a festive meal called the Purim Seuda or Seuda Purim. Traditionally, the meal was marked by a great deal of levity and drinking. The Talmud says, now the Talmud, this is the text that explains the Bible to you, that explains the Torah to you, says, on Purim, a person should ply himself with wine until he can no longer recognize the difference between the words, cursed be Haman, and the words, blessed be Mordechai. That pretty much sums up the story of Borum. Get hammered! And celebrate the fact that the Jews didn't die. I... <laughs> Done? That's okay. For now. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> it's... it's waiting for the timer to go up. <laughs> off all the cookies. <laughs> Phone's running out of juice. Peanuts. <laughs> Again, you say, I say penis and you say it loud. I say penis and you say penis. 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 You win. I win. I didn't even get to go penis. <laughs> That's what you did, though. Which I did. <laughs> Eight, seven, six. The cookie New Year. Five, four, three. Just as excited Hell as this yeah! <laughs> Top cookies. Only top cookies. Do you think top cookies are done? Do they look done to you? Yes, they do. Top cookies! Hamantaschen! We got Hamantaschen! So that's what Hamantaschen look like when they're done. 
if you made them bad like I did. <laughs> that one's really good. Let's look at, like, can we look at that one? Can we look at that one? The first one? That one's really the good. The one that you did the first stuff? One. No, this is the first one. Was it? Yeah. Well, that one's good. That one's good, too. That one's good. Ish. The rest are all overstuffed. They're not overstuffed. They're just bad. They're bad because they're overstuffed. I just did them bad. <laughs> but these are home Natasha. You're welcome. We made home Natasha. Oh. You made home Natasha. I videotaped you eating home Natasha. Now Making home Natasha. Now we're eating them. Now we're eating home Natasha. Oh, delicious. Go watch. This is very good. Yum. Ah. Porm starts at sundown tonight, by the way, and goes till sundown tomorrow, March 1st. Wee. All right, Christopher, this is all your fault. You're the one who was like, story of Porum, home and So here we are. This is where we've come to. Um, guys, I'm on Patreon. That's the thing. That's why Christopher made this happen, because he's a patron, and he said, do this, and so I did. So if you're a patron, you can say, do this, and I will. And there's a link in the description below, and then you can become a patron and be part of my patron Patreon community that gets fun videos that you wouldn't get otherwise, that you would only like if you like the weird stuff I do, and help me pay for things like doing this. Like, guys, I'm too poor to buy ingredients for cookies, so having Patreon means that I have enough money to buy ingredients for cookies, and then I can make videos where I make cookies and talk about you stuff. So if you want to see me do stuff, you could be a patron and you could be a better one or I could do better stuff if I have more patrons at the end.